Greetings. Ladies and gentlemen, AMC stock is up 11.2 at the time of recording this video. What in the world is going on today? What do you need to know? Because in fact, at one point in the beginning of trading, you actually hit a new multi-year low of $358 per share. And then almost like you snapped your fingers and it all changed. So what happened now is this going to continue? These are questions that a lot of people have that we will talk about here in this video. I will provide my opinion, as I have said before. And I will say it again, I do think right now is a very attractive time to be buying AMCs because why I do believe Adam Aaron has no choice. His, his hands are tied but to give you a commitment to not diluting shareholders or something else to cause AMC stock to rally. Because Adam Aaron AMC, they want to raise capital. They can outraise capital at $3, $4, $5 per share. You, uh, you, because it got more damage than you do good. So we're going to get into what's going on today. All of the data you need to know short interest is indeed once more rising. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's get started. AMC stock is up 115. Is this really happening? I'll tell you right away that there isn't any specific news that's causing this, but you can see that the Russell 2000 as a whole is doing pretty well today. The Russell 2000 is up about 0.5%, while the SIPE is slightly red and the NASDAQ is down a bit. It looks like the stocks that are being bought today are small and mid-cap names that are sensitive to interest rates, while the stocks that are being sold today are chip names and AI names. If you look at 10-year treasury yields today, they're down about 7 basis points, which means that teen treasuries have gone straight up from 3.86 on February 1st to a high that you saw yesterday. That's the same as a rate hike when a lot of small and mid-cap stocks have debt that changes based on 10-year treasury yields. When 10-year treasury yields rise, it might not be as appealing to buy small cap stocks. So I do think it's interesting that NVIDIA is down a lot today. NVIDIA is down 4A, TSMC is down about 4, and other AI and chip names are also down a lot. This could also be a sign of a healthy market since our markets have been sick for a while now. The average stock has been doing badly and the Russell has been doing badly, but the markets keep hitting highs, like the S&P and the NASDAQ. This is because it's really just led by a couple names. Recently, NVIDIA stock has gone from being worth less than $500 to being worth as much as $700. This week, next week, or the week after, NVIDIA reports earnings. If you see some weakness leading up to NVIDIA earnings, and then maybe a last-ditch kind of weakness following NVIDIA earnings, unless they give us something crazy again, which I wouldn't doubt, then you could see more capital go back into small cap stocks in the next couple of weeks. And really, who's buying NVIDIA at $660? If you didn't buy NVIDIA during this whole run-up, even the recent run-up from $500 to $700, I don't think you'll be rushing to buy it at $660 a share. That's when you might experience a bubble losing its air moment. No one's jumping in to buy the four dip on NVIDIA when it just rallied 45 to ties start 2024. So pretty much everyone has made money on NVIDIA. If you were super late to T as I record this video, the drop in 10 treasury yields and the drop in AI chip names, big tech are both having the desired effect on AMC, pushing the stock up about 11. Things are looking pretty good there. However, there is one bad news. Credit card delinquencies rose in 2023, which is not good for a company that reports earnings later this week. The New York Fed says that credit card debt rose more than 50 in 2023, and that total consumer debt reached $17.00. 5 cents trillion. Total debt rose by $212 billion in the quarter, a 1.2 e increase from the previous quarter about 3.6 more a year ago. That's an increase of $200 billion in debt in just three months. Wow, what a world we live in. If people didn't use credit cards, the economy would fall apart tomorrow. That's not great. But I think Wall Street likes to spend, so that could also be good for small caps. Okay, socks today, wait a second. And wow, that's pretty interesting. AMC stock is up 11, and it looks like almost everyone is bearish. It's been a long time since you've seen this level of negativity, so it's very bearish. Zero out of 100 doesn't make a lot of sense, but message volume is very high at 99, and the participation ratio is at 47. I do find it interesting that the sentiment is very negative today, especially since AMC stock is up 11. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it could be seen as positive. As I've said before, I like to see message volume as high as possible. There are different reasons why people feel differently about stocks every day. But if people are really this negative about them today on stock tweets, you might see more people become positive about them, which could lead to more price growth. 
Also, when AMC goes through these uptrending periods, the stock tends to rally a lot. So don't be surprised if you see a big rally in the AMC stack from here. Yesterday's number was about 22 A5. So today's big change in the RSI could bring in some more traders into AMC. At this point, any buying pressure is good news for AMC. Now, let's look at the ORC data, which I find interesting. Once more, you can see that the short interest percentage of free flow is rising. Now to 1132. It's been rising every day, which is good because anyone looking at while that number isn't crazy high, it is high enough for some kind of squeeze right. If you're an investor in this community, you probably think the short interest is a lot higher. I think it's 200, but not everyone does. Some people aren't in this exclusive group, so they're looking at this number. The higher it is, the better for AMC and a possible short squeeze. Right now, there are $14.09 million worth of short positions days to cover 1.53 million shares that are the Russells up a half of one percentage of stocks above their 58 moving average is actually up 2.84 today to 49.61, basically 50 of stocks. You have been seeing the, the, the average stock declining since December 2008, basically straight down from 86 of stocks above their 50-day moving average to a low of yesterday at about 45.4U. The low was 44.5 of stocks above their 50-day moving average. So you have dropped or retraced about 50 over 50 over 50 of the increase that you had seen in percent percentage of stocks breaking above their 50-day moving average at the same time the CP500 was hitting a new all-time high. Now, the SAP is still hanging out up here. I do think there is going to be more weakness in, uh, in this ESTP over the next couple of days. I actually think NVIDIA earnings could spark a lot of weakness potentially in the IFL 500 as it could be a, you know, a sell the rumor, buy the news, buy the, uh, you know, uh, buy the wheel, the news, you know, could be one of those things that could play out now. Normally, NVIDIA does kind of rally into earnings and then kind of sells off for a period of time, sometimes a couple of weeks. And um, then you can get a larger move higher. Sometimes NVIDIA will rally like 10, 15, 20 on earnings too. And then give it all back by the next day you actually seen that happen. Um, not last earnings, NVIDIA was actually ready last earnings. Um, kind of did the same thing as well, was, was up a lot. Then right back down, but two earnings ago, you were up like 10 at one point. The high was 502 and you ended up closing at 471. You, you would gave back a 10 gain you had off of earning. So I do think um, that is uh, pretty interesting in regards to young NVIDIA and four down on NVIDIA is uh, quite a momentum shift. Um, so that could actually be a healthy event for our markets. Nonetheless, so taking a look at the Stocko Tracker for AMC, and as you know today, is Tuesday. We are going to have more earnings throughout this week. We are going to have more um, data and more Fed speakers. If you do see a rally start, and this is the start of a larger rally, the option activity will definitely play a role in AMC, probably partly why AMC stock is up 11 today. You do have calls in the, the money of 23,577 calls out the money, 47,471, and the money puts 8. 121, all the money puts at 1990. So you now have a lot more calls in the money than puts in the money. And you do have over double, almost triple the amount of calls out the money compared to puts out the money. So overall, this week's looking pretty dang good if we want to continue to see a rally and, and see options actually play a role and potentially driving. Um, the stock higher, so there is that, that's pretty much all there is for the day to day. Again, I, I wish there was any news that I could bring to you guys. There's not, um, there's been a lot of news recently like, Investors are buying AMC bonds, which I think was kind of a foreshadow for this rally to happen in the equity. Because if people are buying the bonds, that means they're confident in AMC's ability to survive, right? You don't buy, you don't buy unsecured notes on a company that's going to go bankrupt at, at you know, seven or 10. It doesn't even matter, right? You're not going to, it's not going to do that. So that was showing a lot of confidence that the business will survive, and it was likely only a matter of time before that eke its way into a big gainer for the equity itself. If you take a look at the 10 and the two-year yield curve, inversion still inverted 29 basis points. And we, we inverted a lot less than that, right at about the Fed, you were inverted 16 basis points. Um, I believe that you could have seen an unversioned not get the market starting to price and more cuts from the Fed. In fact, market started to you know, unpriced in some of what we have priced out, priced in uh, over the past couple of months. So that is also pretty healthy. I, I do want to point that out as well before we go ahead and wrap up this video. Markets went from pricing in seven rate cuts to six to five now, 
if you take a look here, markets are pricing in. Let's just go ahead and refresh this. So I know we have the most up-to-date information markets. Our pricing in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rate cuts, 38.5 he asked. But your odds of 4 rate cuts have jumped a lot as well. Um, now that's at 25.7, so you're getting pretty close to, you know, starting to price in four rate cuts. And that will be um, really good, right? Because I don't think we're getting four. I don't think we're getting five rate cuts. Um, but when the Fed has to push back on that, if we're pricing in less, it might, it, it might not be as bad as, as it otherwise would have been if we were pricing in like seven right cuts, right? So all these things we're talking about is healthy. The fact that chips and AI are giving it up, stocks like AMC, some of your small cap stocks are taking a turn here. Seeing this rotation in the markets is actually very, very healthy. Let me know what you think about this down below in the comments section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.